So, Tristan, the speedrun record for this game is 54 minutes and 31 seconds. That's crazy. Yeah, we've been at this for what, like 12 hours? It's been not even four hours. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> well, you just you just wanted to start the episode so you could shit on me right away. Wait, why is your computer just floating up there? Or the radio? Oh, because it's it's cool. Isn't that cool? It's just like floating. No, that's not, that's not that's not a that's like a trust in reason. That's not an actual reason. Why why are they floating? I guess it's just. Like it's no. I'm asking, is that like a, is that like a glitch with a widescreen, or is it supposed to do that? No, it's supposed to do that. It's okay. um, it just kind of floats outside the ship and scans things. It's cool. What? Yeah. Cool ship is part. meaningless though. I'm like, I, I was wondering if there's like a lower reason for it. I found the glutton drive. No, there's not a reason for it. It's just a design choice. Aw, oh, man, there's more of these fucking frogs. Uh, uh. No. Bless you, Lars. Get him. Get, kick his ass. Don't let him up. Don't, don't let him up. Don't let him up. Oh, shit. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, baby. Oh, what the fuck is that? Uh, it's a snitch bug. I forgot about these things. They literally steal your Pikmin. They don't even eat them. Get him. Kick his ass. Okay. Go, 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 go. Murder him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh. Anyways, Lars, how's it going? Yeah, how's it going? How are you doing? We're still we're still recording. This is the same day. This is like five minutes after the last video. Uh, I know. I'm just saying how you're doing. My status has not changed. Oh. Yeah, I think this frog kind of killed some of my Pikmin. Yeah, well, you're doing the thing where you only put, like, five enemies, five Pikmin on them. No, I just, I took the frog from a bad angle. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Pikmin, tear down this wall. You got this. Good job. <gasps> oh! Yahoo! Look at the ship, it's prettier now. Uh, the Glutton Drive. All right, part 23. Let's go, baby. I think it's actually Gluon. I, I could be wrong, though. Gluon sounds like something that, like, it's like someone clearing their throat. It is the Gluon Drive. Like, I'd be <laughs> saying it incorrectly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. You know what I mean? Yeah, like farting. And yeah, I'm going to bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, nice. It's, it's, it stands to reason that Olimar could carry one of those himself. Um, I don't know that. I do think that the Pikmin have like increased strength. They do. Yeah, because Olimar is very, very weak compared to the Pikmin. Oh, so why don't they just eat Olimar? They don't eat things. They um, they're kind of like a. They're kind of like bees, where they like to, you know, have like a, a leader. Bees? Or like ants. Yeah. Bees. Like bees or an ant. Bees. Job's not on board. Okay. Imagine if you're like sitting at a toilet and like a shark came out of it and picked your dick off. Is that like you confiding in me in one of your fears? Like, what Wouldn't that be terrifying? Fuck? I would be more impressed that that actually happened than scared. Yeah. It wiggles its way through the sewer system. It goes, half. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I'd be upset with the shark, not myself. Oh my gosh, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Get get out of the water, thank you. No, I- he's like a, a water snake? Uh, that's more plausible. Yeah. Actually, no, hold on. When I was uh, when I was a child, they took us out on a field trip to this place where it was an Indian buffalo jump, and yes, that is what they called it at the time. I'm not saying it to like diss on Native Americans. That's how they told me what it was, but um, they they took us out there 
and they were showing us like this giant cliff where they would chase buffaloes off and they had like this dirt mound they built as well on it where the buffaloes would like you know kind of break their legs and fall off the mound and they would you know hunt them down and use their meat and fur and stuff also it's the zirconium rotor nice anyways back to the story there was this uh this outhouse there that had a gigantic rattlesnake that came up out of the toilet and it bit a guy on the ass the guy didn't die but they told us they told us that and none of us went to the bathroom that day all in all i, I think I, I in that situation if, if it only bit my ass i consider myself very lucky yeah, like, it could have bit his nutsack. Oh, and they said it was a seven-foot rattlesnake. Wait, the guy's penis or the actual snake? The snake, dumbass. It's just... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Lars, his seven-foot cock. Oh, oh, they're stuck. Come on. There we go. Good job, guys. Where are we going with this? Where are you going? Okay. <laughs> another thing with the whole uh, buffalo jump they would take us to the very edge and they would hold us by our arm and they would push us off like the cliff part and have us like be dangling just by our arm like over like this hundred foot drop and it scared the shit out of most of us i was terrified i stayed in the very back so like the workers couldn't do that to me but that just goes to show like how much safety things have changed since then because th that's insane that they did that to a bunch of first graders. Yep. Yeah, let me just grab a child and just pretend to push them off a cliff. And the only thing that's holding them is their arm. Or some of them would just grab the back of the kid's shirt and just push them. Yeah, I mean, didn't some kids probably die? I mean, no, no one in my class did, but I don't know beyond that. It's like, even if you're careful at it. Eventually, if you just, like, chronically torture kids in that way, eventually one of them is going to, like, fall. Yeah, I, I... I don't know. Maybe they just got lucky. Oh, man. It's another snitch bug. Come here, bitch. Kick his ass. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, guys. Fuck him up. You know, it's funny. It's like, uh... A lot of people... When people are like... Well, I, I used to just, like, uh, I didn't care about, like, safety things as a kid, and I turned out okay. And the thing is that most people from that era did not turn out okay, because they have lead poisoning. <laughs> well, and I also, like, they're like, oh, yeah, like, we should be allowed to do all this stuff we used to be able to do as kids. Like, no. There's a reason yeah. we don't do that anymore, because there are people that weren't okay and that got hurt. Or, like, for example, yeah. in the capital of Washington... They don't let people go to the very top of, like, the dome anymore because it's extremely dangerous and you could fall very easily. Can this blowy fuck just stop hiding from me, please? You guys ever missed the Supersonics? Uh... Oh, is that a sports team? Yeah. I never really followed sports team. What kind of sport did they do? <laughs> I should have seen it coming, man. What? <laughs> That's what? Like the, that's like the main stereotype. Actually. Uh, anyway. I, I I don't follow sports. No, you, you definitely don't. Most most don't. Yeah, most most uh, gamers don't follow sports. Yeah, emphasis on the one part of that. Anyway, yeah, so the Sonics used to be... What were we talking about before that, by the way? Kids falling to their doom. Yeah, we're talking about how, like people are just like oh i was fine even though we didn't have all these safety measures like before yeah you ever you ever meet a boomer who's like well i was spanked as a kid and i turned out fine and it's always always someone who's on like at least their second divorce and has like a minimum of one restraining order and they're like i turned out fine and i'm like or really. or they're an alcoholic or someone that's very emotionally unavailable yeah Like I've never, I, I've never heard, I've never heard someone say, well, "I was spanked uh, and I turned out okay," and thought to myself, "You know what? Fair enough. You're very well adjusted." A, a, <laughs> not a thing. Are you excited for your Bat in the Sun episode? 
Yeah, uh, give some context to the audience, by the way. Yeah, you, you're a long-term fan, right? So Lars and I are going to be interviewing a guy called Bat in the Sun on our podcast at, uh, what is it, discord.t1podcast.com? If you want to tune in live or just find us on YouTube if you want to listen to the cut-down versions. Yeah, just look up the first podcast. But we're going to be interviewing Aaron, the guy that does like all the cool directing and plays the Joker on the Bat in the Sun channel. And if you want to get early access to those episodes we do, the link for that is patreon.com slash t1 podcast i definitely got that correct the first time definitely also there's early release privileges for Tristan's videos yes i'm very not good at doing ads when i'm trying not to wake up these gigantic creatures that are gonna murder me in my pikmin just yell into the the wii microphone don't wake up don't wake up it didn't fucking work you liar Oh, I was just trying to make the most wrong things I could possibly think of in one sentence. First of all, you're not using you're not using a Wii remote. Second of all, Wii remotes do not have a microphone that you can talk into. Third of all, that's not a command in this game, even if it uh, was. Run! Shit! Okay, okay, shit, shit. Okay, we're good. This fucky blow- What the fuck? This fucky blowhog is being a dick. Come here. Got him. Got him. Kick his ass, please. Kill him. For the love of God, kill him. What is happening? Okay. That that was a thing. Alright, I'm gonna take out this, this sleeper agent right here real quick. Go, 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 go. Faster! Faster! Oh my gosh, okay. Oh. oh, that felt good. Pikmin! There we are. Alright, guys. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go collect your siblings. Dude, you're about to die. Get back to your. You don't die, you just. Um, you have to make sure you collect all your Pikmin. <laughs> oh. I got most of them. I'm missing like three. Anyways. Oh, I thought your stream ended. That, why do you do that every time? Is this a gag or are you being serious? This time it was a joke. Okay. Jeez. Oh, I'm just like, Lars, do you have dementia? There's only enough room for some, one person with yeah, memory problems we need, yeah, on this show. Yeah, only one person with uh, short and long-term memory problems. Yeah, I, like I'm the only one that's allowed to forget things. I need you to help me remember. Oh. 13 days since impact. Words are boring. Dolphin! Thank you. I appreciate that. You ever just, you ever just like, uh, imagine how many people are having sex in, like, a one mile radius from you? And you just, like, uh, you just get sad? I hope not, because I'm right next to a school and a church. People are up to stuff, man. I don't know what to tell you. No, anyways, cut that. <laughs> anyways, you know what? Let's. I'm going to give the audience some bonus minutes. I'm going to make this episode a little longer for them because we appreciate you guys. So please, support us just by leaving a comment because these videos do take a lot of work. What if, um... <laughs> Never mind. I'm, wait, I'm going to stop you there. I'm. <laughs> is that what if question going to be followed with something that I have to edit out? No, you don't have to edit it out. You're going to want to. Okay, n never mind. What if we had a topic, Lars, that we don't have to edit out? How about that? We do. We have plenty of them. Okay, well, let's 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 do one of those right now. Okay. All right. So, what if like cum came in like four or five different flavors? What the fuck, man? Like one of them was like flaming hot. What goes <laughs> on inside of your head? <laughs> Spicy chips. No. Answer, answer me right now. What goes on inside your head? Nothing that literally just popped right into my brain without without any prompting. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, it's just a funny idea. Just imagine like flaming hot limon jizz, like, like no, Cheetos, uh, like lemon pepper, lemon pepper penis. Yeah. 
the fuck, man? Genuinely. No, 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 you don't get to say what the fuck, man, to something you just said. No, I'm talking about this entire topic that you brought <laughs> you up. You said lemon pepper penis. I did not add that. No, you, you're the one that made it weird, okay? You're the one that made it weird. I brought up the topic, you just advanced it. Yeah, advanced, advanced coming, I appreciate it. Wait, would a, would a, would a, lemon, would a lemon pepper penis look speckled? Probably, it'd probably have freckles. Yeah. We got another, we got another uh, penis beetle. Get it, get it, get it. Nice. Okay. It's very fleshy. Ah. I, I can, I don't like it. You don't like what this, the flesh? It's like exposed hot flesh. Not like a sex, like a, like a temperature wise. <laughs> we got the, the bow sprit. Nice. Um. <laughs> You're right. Uh, yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Do you remember that one episode of the podcast where you kept laughing at URLs? It was a good time. Were you like high or something, or that episode, or? I was just really tired, genuinely just tired. I think another good flavor would be blue raspberry. Shut the fuck up. There's blue raspberry everything, okay? I'm tired of it. Um, cotton candy. Thank you. It's a little bit better than blue raspberry. Yeah, what if it came out with with the consistency of cotton candy? That would be horrifying. Yeah. Ugh. Ew, no, ew. But it'd just be a little strands of it, though. Yeah, yeah, that would be really... Yeah, imagine you're having sex with a woman and then she just pulls cotton candy out. And she's I, just I like, don't have to imagine. Fuck? I've done it before. You've put cotton candy inside a woman. No, you're, you said, imagine having sex with a woman. I don't have to imagine that. Yeah, I, 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 I prefaced it with, imagine you're putting cotton candy inside of a woman. It's not a prefix, that's a suffix. I'm gonna suffocate you. That's violent. Yeah, this game's making me violent. Yeah, what's with you on the podcast every time and you're like, <laughs> This is making me- I don't know. Cut that. Cut that, TJ. Cut that. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh, great. They're stuck. Look at that. They're not stuck, Tristan. They just don't have the, the proper AI to deal with your shit when you leave. Mm hmm. You see that, Lars? What is that? I mean, what is that? You see that fleshy thing flopping around? <laughs> you need to, like, micromanage your Pikmin. Oh, uh, I what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to clear paths for the the Pikmin to go beyond that wall over there. And we got another ship part. Yeah, baby. Woo. Mm. Uh. The Zirconium Rotor. Yeah, I don't think one bomb is enough to take down that entire wall over there. Okay, so you should probably get a couple more. I am working on that. I just don't know where they are. I think they're under the, the rock things. <laughs> There might be some across this bridge over here. I'll go check. How are you fucking serious? Guys! Seriously! Huh? Get How are you drowning? You're not even in the water! Huh? <sighs> Stop tripping. What is this? Super Smash Brothers brawl? Yes. They're so fucking stupid. All right, guys, we're going to blow up this wall. Go ahead. Good job, Jeremy. Go, Richard. Good job, Richard. All right, Ethan. You got this. Wow, Ethan. Way to go, Ethan. All right, Terry. Keep it up. Proud of you. Stop drowning! <sighs> I'm over here. All right. Blow it up. All of you, blow it up. Just blow it up. Oh. 
It worked. <laughs> Lars, I blew it up. I did it. Yeah, what, what's with you and like slaughtering Pikmin wholesale this episode, man? <laughs> what do you mean? I think you've killed like 250 of them. That's a fucking exaggeration. I've only killed three. Like just now, yeah. Yeah. Are we, gonna, are we forgetting about Bloody Sunday? Where almost all of them drowned? That was, I think that was the last episode. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah. Everyone knows that each day it resets with how many pigmen you kill. Yeah, but you still have to live with the memories. <laughs> not not me. I'm the one with memory problems. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I'll just commit a bunch of war crimes and forget I even did it. All right, how many more thingies? A couple. <gasps> oh! We got another ship part. The bow spit. What? Where's all the blue ones? I didn't use any of this episode. Oh. Were you not paying attention? <laughs> Man, I don't know the mechanics of this game. If that's not a mechanic. That is just, have you been watching? Well, the blue ones are the water owl, right? Yeah, I didn't go in the water this episode. Uh, oh. <laughs> 14 days, just five more ship parts. Dolphin! Let's go. I'm so excited for the next game where Lars doesn't do that because there's no dolphins. Doesn't mean I can't do it. Shit. So what if, like, cum came in, like, four or five different flavors? What the fuck, man? Like, one of them was, like, flaming hot. What goes <laughs> on inside of your head? <laughs> Spicy chips. <laughs> no. Answer, answer me right now. <laughs> what goes on inside your head? Nothing that literally just popped right into my brain without, without any prompting. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, it's just a funny idea. Just imagine like flaming hot limon jizz, like, like no, Cheetos. Uh, 